Okay, we are live. Thank you everyone for joining us today with COS Live brought to you by Support the Springs and the Colorado Springs Chamber and EDC. I am Emma Mitchell and I'm the Member Relations Manager for the Colorado Springs Chamber and EDC. I'm here today with Chef Franco Pisani. He is the chef at Paravicini's Italian Bistro and Sopra. Thanks for being with us today, Chef. I'm excited to see you cook. How we doing, all right? Good, how are you doing? We're all right. We got the zoom, zoom, zoom and the boom, boom going on. Awesome. Well, what are you gonna cook for us today, Chef? And why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys do over there? So, uh, Pair of Cheese uh, has been here for uh, 17 years. A local, local neighborhood Italian restaurant in Old Colorado City. A uh, little part of Colorado Springs here, Old Town. And uh, we're gonna show you how to do penny alla vodka classic Italian American dish. And uh, we're, we're doing it via live on Zoom Zoom. So we want to get started. We uh, take a hot saute pan, get your saute pan hot. And for this dish, you're going to need some prosciutto, some onions, some uh, Chef Franco tomato sauce that we sell at the restaurant, heavy cream, butter, Parmesan, Romano cheese, of course, a little bit of vodka, and some uh, cooked penne pasta, OK? Uh, we're going to get this going here. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Saute your onions and then saute your prosciutto. Now, if you're uh, vegetarian, you can leave the prosciutto out. It's just going to give you that, uh, the prosciutto gives you that nice uh, salty flavor on that dish mixed with the cheese. A lot of butter. It's a simple dish, five ingredients, but it, it packs a, a, a lot of flavor in this dish. Penny uh, vodka here. So, you know, uh, favorite cheese, I'm gonna talk a little bit while we're, we're waiting for this oil to heat up. You know, we're, we're doing, uh, like most restaurants, we're doing the takeout and the curbside. And we have some Mother's Day and uh, follow us on our Facebook, uh, which is uh, Paravicini's or uh, Franco Pisani uh, is my personal one. And we try to do a lot of fun, neat stuff here uh, in the, on the west side here. West side. All right, get that sauteed up there. Some people say, you know, what kind of prosciutto do you use? On a dish like this, you know, you don't have to use the uh, imported prosciutto di parma, you know, that's $21 a pound because you're cooking with it. So when you're cooking with it, you change the whole uh, flavor profile. And if you can't find prosciutto, you can use pancetta or, you know, if you want to make it a little less expensive, you know, pancetta will still give you that nice pork and flat back flavor. Then we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of vodka. Well, my hair is a little longer right now because of COVID, so we're going to deglaze the pan, put the alcohol out, okay, then you're going to add your tomato sauce. A little bit of your heavy cream. A little bit of heavy cream going on right there. Stir that up. You're making the pink sauce, actually. The rock is the pink sauce there. It's almost a, a, it's a mixture of Alfredo and tomato. Really nice dish. Then we're going to add the butter. Dump a little bit of butter in there and let that reduce. Now, uh, one of these recipes we can send to you on our website or, or we have a cookbook uh, right here. Hey, look at this. We have a cookbook, uh, Mama Mia, that's Italian. That's me about 20 years ago on there, the, the picture. And uh, you can get that through our website at pyramidshoes.com or uh, on Amazon. A lot of recipes in there, a lot of stories about growing up Italian. And uh, the premises of the book is, uh, if Hallmark makes a card for it, Italians have a menu. All right, uh, Emma, we're going to add our pasta right now. Okay, so here's a little something. The pasta's cooked right now because of time. You know, sometimes I cook on TV or I'll do these virtual cooking classes and stuff like that. And uh, somebody said, uh, we had uh, penne alla vodka. I made your penne alla vodka and uh, it was a little crunchy. And I said, well, because of time restrictions, it was already cooked. 
And um, so we went and uh, cooked your pasta first. And I got an email back that said, thank you. Lindsay's going to grab me a bowl so we can put plate this up nice nice for you guys. Then you put the Parmesan cheese in there. Okay, get it nice. Just get it going there. Give it one last, two last little stirs. Thank you, Lindsay. You're welcome. Okay, Pat Sage, I got Vanna White. I got Lindsay, <laughs> right? There you go. By a bowl. Nice little plate. Give it one last couple of turns there. Plate it up. Oh, look at this. This looks good. I'm going to come around and see if we can show that nice, nice in the camera here. Hold on. Let's see if we can. Let's see how, how this Zoom works here. Look at Penny Alavaca right there. Huh? Classic Italian American dish right there. One of our number one sellers on our, on our menu. Uh, again, this is available for takeout or delivery. Uh, we use uh, DoorDash or Grubhub for delivery, or if you're on the west side, just stop by and say hello. Good thing is you could add wine to your orders now and uh, beer, and we could, you know, we can all get through this together. And I know this is the Colorado Springs Chamber, and I'm, I'm really part of, really proud to be part of this Colorado Springs community. I mean, people have come together, uh, you know, supporting the local restaurants, the supporting employees, uh, very generous uh, gratuities. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, your true colors really come out in, in times like this. So uh, thank you, Colorado Springs. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Chef. You've done a lot of things for the community too, I've been hearing. And there was a recent article written about you. What's the What's your most favorite story you've heard recently about the community and people giving back? You know, uh, I, I hear so many of them, and everyone is different and unique in, in their own way. Uh, you know, I, I do the meal kits on Wednesday, and I, I'm just going to speak to my, my own uh, deal. I do the uh, meal kits on Wednesday. So what you do is you call ahead or, and you order a kit, and we have all the ingredients weighed out. So for making penny a la vodka, all the ingredients would be weighed out, measured, and then we go live at five o'clock on Wednesdays and we cook together. And uh, during COVID, I've been doing pay what you can. So if you say, listen, I don't have the 50 for the kit, but I got 20. Great. Give me 20. Give me 10. You got nothing. Give me nothing. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. And people have been like, hey, I'm coming to pick up a kit, but I want to pay for a kit for somebody who needs a kit. So, you know, and it's just amazing, like how people have just, you know, been so generous and, uh, Stuff like that, especially towards my staff, and, and, and you know, we're gonna, we're this this two shall pass, and, and we're you know we'll come out greater. We'll have a vaccine soon, or we'll have some medicine soon, because we're the greatest country in the world. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. I love that you guys are doing those meal kits, and that you guys are helping out with that pay as you can. What a great yeah. story too about others doing that. Um, so I want to ask you some questions about yourself and all right um <laughs> so what is your favorite brand of dried pasta to use i use barilla pasta so either barilla pasta or la molisana but barilla is a nice pasta that holds up well uh and it's supported for Italy. okay and what do you like to cook when you're at home uh you know i like slow cooked stuff like at home i make like viola sabuco or roast pork uh loin uh, I like low and slow stuff that takes hours, uh, sausage and peppers and potatoes, chicken scarpiello, just stuff that you put together, put in the oven, forget about it for four hours, and it's just, you know, kind of fall off the bone and sop it up with some bread and, and you know, th that kind of meals I like uh, for Sunday dinners. Well, you're making, you've already made me hungry, but you're just making me hungrier now. No, nah, we'll um. you. <laughs> What kind of wine would you pair with this dish you just made, the penny you know, vodka? I'm one of those guys that uh, I tell people, drink what you like. If you like red wine, drink red wine. If you like white wine, drink white wine. I mean, drink what you like. So if you're a red drinker, something light, like a Zinfandel or a blend, uh, like a Prisoner or a Zinfandel blend, a Meritage. Uh, if you like white, a nice little Pinot Grigio. Something a little strong, you know, something that'll hold up. 
that you know uh, that's not too fruity because the fruitiness will will definitely um, sweet. I mean, not fruity, but sweet, like you know, a riesling or something. I wouldn't do with this, but a nice dry, crisp riesling would go good with this. But I'm a red guy, so I would probably um, uh, drink a nice uh, red sin with this uh, with this dish. Okay. I don't know a lot about wine, so that's why I asked you because you seem like an did. expert. <laughs> Um, are you guys doing any mothers? Oh. The best thing to find out about wine is every time you go into a liquor store, you buy something different and then you write your own notes at home. You say, hey, listen, that was really good. I really liked it. it not too many tannins. It didn't make me pucker up a lot when I drank it, you, you know, and then you go, that's, you know, one to five, that's a five, that's a one. And then you make a list and then you know what you like and then you go from there. So if, if you can, if you try, you know, seven different varietals and then you came out and you said, well, I, I guess I like the red sin the best. Then you start going on the scale. You go, you know, this price range, then that price range, and then the next price range. And then it's somewhere in between, you find your favorite wine. That's good advice. Um, do you guys, are you doing any daily specials or are you offering sort of the same things? So on, uh, on our menu, on our website, we have a meal kit for four. It feeds a family of four. You pick a pasta, you pick an entree, it comes with salad and bread. Uh, and I think it comes with cannolis. Uh, that's the meal kit, four people, $60. Salad, bread, uh, like, you could get chicken parmesan, penne a vodka, chicken marsala, red plain caramel, you know, and so it's pick an entree, pick a pasta, salad, bread, dessert. That's a, a meal pack for four. And then uh, we just posted our Mother's Day menu on, uh, on my Facebook page. We're going to put it on Piravicini's page here today. Uh, and Mother's Day, we have $35 per person, a complete meal. It's two appetizers, a salad, two pastas, two entrees. I think it's chicken marsala, sausage and peppers, penne with meatball. I can't remember. I got all these menus in my head, but I, just, I wrote that menu on. What, what would I want? I'm sitting down. What, 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 we, what am I going to bring home that day? And I said, well, this is what we're going to do. So it's a great, great menu and a little, a lot of variety of everything. Perfect. You, you took my question from me because I was going to ask about Mother's Day. Yeah. So, um, ask I guess I. <laughs> I have two more questions for you. One is, so the Facebook Live that you're doing, the cook along, that's on Wednesdays. Yeah. And you're also on TV sometimes too, right? Yeah, yeah, sometimes we're on Fox 21 with Lauren and Craig and, and that whole crew there and uh, we have a good time. And uh, we did one of these Zoom Zooms with the uh, Fox 21 a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, we, we have a great time. Abby and uh, Matt Meister, they did a great little morning show they put together. There. It's even better when I'm on, but I won't. <laughs> we won't. Well, you're very much a local celebrity, Chef. Uh, um, so my last question for you is, what can we do to support you as a community besides getting takeout and, and watching you? You, you know, um, that, that's a good question. You, you know, old Colorado City is, is a great little community, a great little neighborhood. Stores are opening up. Uh, you know, come down, distance yourself, wear your masks, go walk around, go shopping. And then when you're done shopping, pick up a little to go from one of your local restaurants, whether it be my restaurant, Jake and Telly's Front Range Barbecue, Alchemy. We don't care. You know, here on the West Side, we don't care where you eat, just eat on the West Side. Think of this as a destination to, to go, especially after reopen. Hey, where do you want to go eat? Let's drive down to Old Colorado City, park our car, and walk around and find somewhere. Nobody knows what the reopen's going to look like. Uh, but, but hopefully, uh, you know, but continue takeout. Takeout is, is you know, our bread and butter now. I, I have 35 employees on staff right now during the uh, COVID-19 um, dilemma. And, uh, you know, and the reason why we, we keep on is, is for takeout and, and stuff like that. So keep doing your takeout. Keep, you know, doing what you guys are doing. Uh, you know, you can add wine to uh, orders. Uh, you could add drinks to orders. We're doing beer and wine here at Pervicini, so you can have a, a bottle of wine. And uh, if you say, hey, I saw you on uh, Support the Chamber, we'll give you 15% off a bottle of wine. So say, hey, I'm going to do a checkout thing, and I saw you in that little Zoom live thing with the Chamber. I want my 15% off. So we'll, we'll do that for you guys. 
Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, for doing this and for everything you're doing for the community and your employees. We appreciate thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Support local people. Support local. Thank you, Chef. Goodbye. Bye-bye.